In this video I will show you how you can set up SFML and if you want to make a SFML project you just need to do this every time at the beginning and then you are just set up for whatever you want to do. So first just uh, go to SFML, sfmldev.org, uh, download and then you can do SFML 3.0.0 but it's really new and there aren't a lot of tutorials so I would recommend to go with the uh, 2. Point something version so I'll just go to older versions and then the newest ones or 2.6.2 and then you can download it you will probably if you use, uh, if you use Visual Studio you just go to Visual Studio um, 17 so the 2022 version and then 64 bit then you go to download then you just wait for to finish and now you can just do uh, and you can just um, extract everything I already have it but once you extracted it you should have this so just this folder with uh, a few folders in it and then you can just uh, have it at your desktop or have it at some other location and what you need is just to copy this path here just copy and now we can go and open up Visual Studio 2022 now you can do create new project then you just select you can go to C++ and then empty project next then you just give it a name uh, SFMS set up tutorial and then you select your folder where you want to save it into then you press create and now you should have this so first you will need to make a main.cpp file just right click source files as add a new item main and enter now we have this so you can first just include um, io stream and make int main and return a zero and then you can just do uh, std cout uh, hello world std and line and then you can just run this this should obviously work there's no sfml set up right now so yes it said hello world and now we can set up SFML. So what you want to do is go to Project SFML uh, Setup Tutorial Properties. Then on Configuration, it's important that you select all configurations. And here Active uh, X64. Then you go to C C++ Additional Include li uh, Directories. Press on this drop down. Edit and on this folder which makes a new line now you just paste in your um, your location of the of SFML the path and then what you do is you make a slash or backward slash and then you just go into uh, go and use uh, include you can also just type include then ok apply and now we do the same thing but you go into linker additional library directories edit new line paste it in then backslash but now we choose lib okay apply and now what you want to do is go under linker into input and now don't use all configurations but use uh, debug oh no use release first go to the drop down menu edit and now you can just type in 
So for most things you need SFML graphics.lib SFML window.lib and SFML system.lib but you can also use um, SFML audio.lib and SFML um, right, what was it? SFML audio network, yeah. You can also do SFML network dot lip, but yeah, if you actually want to do like gain audios, probably you can also include that one. Network, you won't really need that one, but I usually just use those three. And then if I make a bit bigger project with actual audio and everything, I also include this. Then you can also just copy these. OK, apply. And now you switch from release to debug. Now you go into the drop down menu, edit, and you can now just paste it. And now you can go to every one of them and just at the end do a minus D. So before the dot lib window D system D so the D is just uh, for debug and then OK apply and OK and now just have to do one more thing you on the right under the solution one or you can also go into the solution doesn't really matter so if you go into the solution right click open folder and file explorer then you need to open the um, folder then you should have this but you can uh, you can also just go to this and right click open folder and file explorer and then you now just into it I think it's the same thing but you gotta get into this so where the main.cpp file is and now you want to go into your sfml folder again and what you do is you go to the bin folder and now uh, you won't have this one by the way you don't need this don't worry about that so you just copy everything you want so since I now just include uh, everything you can uh, copy everything but for most UK use cases at, as I said you just want to include those four and both graphic ones and maybe the audio but we used everything, so we are going to copy everything. Just uh, copy. Now we go back into our project and we want to paste it. There we go. Now you can close everything. And now you should be able to include SFML and then graph, uh, no, graphics.hpp. And we can include SFML and then audio or network or window. But you just need graphics for now. And then you can delete this line. And now what you can do is make SF render window window. And then we want to have this. SFML setup tutorial and now my double link was 800 by 600. Now you can also do window dot uh, set frame rate limit and this should just be 60. And now what we can do is have STD. Um, Scene.get so it doesn't just close immediately. And now you have now you have the window. So one thing you also want to do, to always have, pretty much like you can't do anything right now. So what you actually want to do is um, not std scene.get. But you have to make the while loop 
while window dot is open and then you do sf event uh, event and then while um window dot oh yeah this uh, here we go so we pull the events out of the window then if the event type is closed then we close and with this if we now start it now we can just move it around make it full screen okay full screen is red right now uh, and you can close it by doing this and now if you want to render something just not in here you can just make a simple as a rectangle shape rect and then we do rect we do window dot clear window dot no not render dot display So we do rect dot set size, I don't know, like 100 by 100. Um, that needs to be as effect of 2f 100 by 100. 100 by 100. And now we can do rect dot set blue color sf color blue and we can do rect dot set position 100 100 and now we can just do window dot draw rect Now we have blue rectangle. Now we can also resize it, and now everything works. So this is what you want to do in pretty much every project, every SFML project you start. Just uh, import SFML, so you can use it actually, and then you just set up the window. And then I always like to just draw the initial triangle, and not triangle, rectangle, just to see if everything works. And you know, like you always uh, print hello world at the start of a project, I like to always display a rectangle at the start.